What's up? What's goody in the hoodie? <laughs> What's up, y'all? This is 1020 at Awakenings. And I'm back again with another motherfucking video. What's up, Scorpios? How y'all doing? How y'all living? How you feeling? All right, it is January 27th, and we're going to do our morning inspiration, okay? All right, Scorpios, let's see what's cracking like here. All right, damn. Okay, so I think we operating or someone is operating in their south node. Okay, you could be seeing one, one, one. All right, so Scorpio, it's a it's it's, it's feeling magical. All right, so January twenty seventh is feeling magical as hell. All right, some of y'all be like, you said the wrong date. You did okay, nigga. Damn. Okay, y'all really be bothering me with that shit. Y'all don't have to share that shit. Let me let me do this because it be some hackers on this motherfucker. I mean, like, I don't know why people be hacking me because. I ain't even doing shit, bitch. But, you know, it's a hater everywhere. I done picked up a hater that I never even seen before. This bitch is just stalking me from everywhere. I'm like, God damn, bitch, you need to get a job. Shit. Some people don't got their job. Some people job just to fucking stalk your ass. Okay, Scorpio? That's all they do all day. Wait for you to post. Like, oh, there she goes again. Looking fun, fabulous, and great. <laughs> you always gonna get that over here, baby. I can't give you nothing less. Can't give you nothing less. All right, I'm pulling up these zodiac signs. I'm I'm trying to do better. I only focus on the sign when I'm fucking with them. If I'm if I don't if you never come in my life, I don't know shit about that sign. All right, so Scorpios, we're dealing with a what are we dealing with it. What's this? What's this one here? I know this one. What the fuck is this sign? Is it a Gemini? Who got a line going through the middle though? Oh, Pisces. Okay. Pisces 111 South Node. Okay. So somebody could be dealing with a Pisces. This Pisces could be in a South Node. Okay. I think that's what that means. A South Node. Somebody educated me on that. All right. All right. So let's get into it. We are going to do a little chakra energy here. Uh, some of y'all need to get y'all some chakra readings. You should get one every month. It's about $65, but we do go over everything and give you action steps for the next 30 days, okay? All right, so let's get into it. All right, ain't nothing but to do with. Do it, do it. All right, so what do we got? One, one, one. All right, we're going to... Where, where do I want to go? Your stomach could be hurting. Or your stomach could be acting up. You could be like, oh, I don't know what's going on with my stomach today. I don't know if this is some of y'all periods that are coming on, but somebody's stomach could be acting... Somebody could be very uncomfortable. What is this uncomfortable feeling? All right. All right. It says difficult side of Uranus. So if there's subjects in your mind that, okay. If these subjects put their mind to work and achieve instead of picking fights, they will be very successful in work and personal relationship. They can't admit to being wrong and won't apologize or make resolutions for the hurt that they do to others okay so scorpio you may be dealing with a pisces today the number may be 111 or 1111 and whoever this is they're ruled by uranus okay and these people basically um when they put their mind to work they achieve stuff right but when they pick fights with people um it makes their work obsolete because basically when they get into an argument with someone um, you know, when you argue with someone, Scorpio, it, whoever starts the arguments, it depletes their money. So that's why I try to avoid people who cause a lot of conflict because they broke. Okay. You, if you notice like people who, who are always arguing and shit, they don't have no money. You know, they're not optimistic about life. Okay. Now this is true. So they pick fights. Okay. This person could be a very successful person, but their money is always depleted. And the thing about this person is the reason why the money stays away from them is because they can't admit when they wrong and they won't even apologize when they know they fucked up, okay? So because of that, they have to always eat the karma of the other person, which basically means that person could cry or that person could have abandonment issues based off this person doing this psychological thing to them, all right? This person may not even know or aware that they're aware of this or they're doing this or, you know, whatever. But Pisces, Scorpio, you could be dealing with a Pisces 
Pisces that has done this to you and they can't admit that they wrong and they won't apologize or make a resolution for the hurt that they do to others. So they're going to constantly get that, you know, shitty end of the stick. Okay. And with all due respect, like if you can't do that, if you can't be the bigger person, that's good. You know, stay in your negative vibration. You're just going to get what you deserve. And that it's a bitter taste. It's a bitter taste. Okay. All right, Scorpio, let's see what you need to work on as far as your own chakras. Okay. And then I'm going to pull some cards if you're dealing with a, a Pisces in a love relationship or if you're dealing with a Pisces in a platonic relationship. Okay, just friends and what that energy looks like too. But I'm going to pull some cards for you guys because we're getting closer to the end of the month. And I just want to make sure, you know, y'all know what y'all need to do if, it, if there is a chakra that's out of balance. Okay. Okay, so y'all got Archangel Raphael with y'all. Okay, Scorpio. And... He invites you to bring healing and knowledge into your life. So this could be a time right now where you're going to be learning if different things. Like the first is coming up. You got to put a little cinnamon in your hand, blow it in your doorway to bring in prosperity. Cinnamon is a natural oil that the good God created, okay? So when people tell you that you're doing magic and stuff, bitch, yes, I am with natural cinnamon. Don't let nobody tell you to go cut up nothing and play with nobody blood because that is dark magic. And somebody put under my, my, my thing like, there's light witches and dark witches. Okay, yes, there's good and dark and everything but i would rather y'all be in a goddess energy where you know you're not fronting and having sex out with your parts and just doing little things of like that okay all right so let's see what's going on with you and a pisces if it's the lover's connection like i said if this pisces did you wrong or something they're having a hard time with apologizing they having a hard time with having integrity okay they operate in real low vibration in their ego scorpio is dealing with a pisces but this is my favorite sign okay so this person is just paying attention to all the red flags they could know why all these bad things is happening to them but they could be like fuck it i just got to do what i got to do somebody just want to save face but somebody knows that the reason why they're getting the shitty end of the stick is because um they did some fucked up shit we'll pay attention to the signs they know that they this is this is the repercussion for fucking around on you or backstabbing you or doing something like that okay you could be seeing a black cat scorpio okay so if you um if you see a black cat a black a all black cat is a scorpio cat um, just so you know that now, if you saw like a, a, a weird ass, you know, I don't know that, that cat that looked like it shaved off, that could mean that you dealing with an Aries. I don't know that, that weird ass shaved cat could have been on Instagram or something like that. Now, if you seen like an orange and black cat, that mean that like an orange and black stray ass cat, that means that you dealing with a Sagittarius. I know this sounds very weird. Um, but if you seen like a little cute gray cat or a cute little gray dog or, but it's really a cat, um, it could like be a Russian blue, uh, that mean you dealing with a cancer. Okay. Now, if you seen a cat Scorpio and it was black and white, that mean that there's a Gemini around you. All right. And they may come towards you with a very cheerful energy. Um, if you seen one of them kind of like orangey kind of cats, not Garfield, but it's like orange and it got a fluffy tail. That can mean that a Taurus is coming towards you and they want to be cuddly, okay? They want to smooch up with you on the sofa, okay? Yeah, okay? All right, so let's see what's going on if you just got a Pisces friend, okay? And you a Scorpio for January 27th, okay? If you just a Scorpio and you just got a Pisces friend, all right, so this Pisces friend is going to come to you to chill with you because they know they was getting used by whoever the fuck they was in a relationship with. And they like hanging out with you, Scorpio, because you funny and you're going to take the energy off of the shit. Yeah, you always talking good shit. You a, a hell of a vibe. So it's Saturday. You know, your Pisces friend going to call you just so y'all can kick this shit because they want to get their mind off this dude. They want to get their mind off this nigga. And you always a good time. You always a good vibe. And you always be talking good shit. And it's just a great vibe to be around you. So this Pisces is going to hit you up. That's your friend and say, hey, man, let's go get some drinks. Let's go kick the shit because I just got a lot of bullshit going on. I love you guys and happy Saturday. Bye, y'all. Everything we go through in life is for a reason. So they say. I feel like it's true, though.